My name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to run our test script in the Android. Uh, we cannot automate the native applications, but of course we can run our test script in the Chrome browser in the Android mobile. Okay. So for that, we have few prerequisites. Let's see what are those. So first of all, we have to uh, install the SDK platform tools from the Android. So here, if you go to this link, I will leave the link in the description. You can check it from there. So here you have to click on like based on your operating system. In my case, Windows. So I'm going to click on this download SDK and just scroll down. Here we have the agreement. Like we have to agree this, and then it will download a zip file. So download it somewhere and go to the downloaded folder. And just right click and you can extract here. Okay, once extracted, you can go within the platform tools folder and copy the file path, folder path, and go to your this PC, right click and go to properties and click on advanced system settings and go to environment variables. And here within the system variables, we have this path. Okay, click on edit and click on new and you have to paste the copied path. Okay, and then click OK okay okay and close it okay that's it we are done with the first step now to confirm we have set the path correctly you can open up your run that is command prompt and here you can say like adb and that should give you something like this if you are not able to say this then probably you have done something mistake with the path okay that's it first step is uh, done okay now in your mobile we have to do some settings like you have to go to your settings and you have to enable the Android debugging, you can refer this video now. After enabling the developer mode, just go to your settings again and then go to your uh, system and then followed by advanced and followed by developer options. Uh, this settings might be a little different in Xiaomi or Samsung or maybe any other mobile, but mostly the settings are very same only. Okay. And here we have to click on this stay away. Now, why this is needed means uh, like whenever we run our test script, uh, we take this screenshot, right? So to take the screenshot the display should be awake so we are clicking on this stay awake that means uh, while we connect the usb it it, it will not uh, turn off the display okay so we are pretty much done with the second step the final step go to your, and the final setting is go to your chrome browser and go to the address bar and type chrome uh, colon slash slash flags and within that you will be able to find something called command um yeah this one enable command line on non rooted device okay it will be default you have to click on this enable uh if you don't do that probably playwright cannot do any of the actions like click or typing something like that okay so we're going to re relaunch the browser and that's it we are pretty much done with all the prerequisite now i'm just going to close this browser okay now coming back to the code so here we have a sample code like we are going to do the import first import the android from playwright and we are giving some allies as android okay and then to execute in the test runner we are using the test from the playwright test okay and as usual we have a simple test runner and within that let me show you the code it's going to be very easy okay so first we have to connect to the device so for that we can say like await android devices and that's going to give us list of devices so we are going to take the device like if you want to print the model name you can say like device.model and to print the serial number we can do so if I go back to the command prop and if I say CMD and here if I say like ADB devices probably you can see like we have the serial number and uh, okay we have only the serial number but in terms of if you want to get the model also it will give you here okay and then if you want to take the screenshot it is very simple like we mostly use page dot screenshot here it's like device dot screenshot okay and now we are going to launch the browser we are going to launch the browser right so we are going to launch the browser for that we have to use the shell command so device dot shell and here you can see we have this command okay so this is basically the package name 
and first stop in the sense like it will stop the applications if it's running in the background or in the foreground okay and not sure about am but uh, i think just a command to open the close the first of the browser okay so let's see whether we can perform that with the adb shell okay so i'm going to say adb um, shell and here i'm going to paste that so right click and insert okay um, so here you can see nothing happened let's go and open this browser in the mobile and i'm going to open few tabs here and then i'm going to say post stop now you can see that the application got closed right so this post stop means it's going to close the application like whatever the package name we are going to give how to get the package name mostly for playwright we can automate in the chromium or the chrome browser so this is the package name but if you want to know some other package name there are a lot of packages like play um, sorry applications available on the market you can uh, check that okay so that's it we are done with the basics now uh, we have to select away device dot launch browser and that's going to give us the context and context dot new page this code is going to be exactly same like how we used to do in our regular chrome browser in the windows so i didn't type everything just a few lines of code okay um, so we have to create the new page that means we are trying to create a new tab and then we are doing like go to page so we are going to the let code website and this is just to print the page url okay and from the page like we have opened the uh, chrome browser already so we are taking the screenshot from that page so play start screenshot and this is my regular stuff like how to navigate to the login page doing entering password email everything okay and finally we are closing the browser and we are closing the device closing the device okay now let's go to our command prompt and let's see okay so here i'm going to say npm and test that should uh, run the following test in the browser let's see in the android browser hopefully it should run let's see and in the bottom you can see some warning that is uh, fine so we'll get the warning but if we can we can ignore that okay it's same like in the chromium browsers we get like a uh, running in automated uh, test suite so similar things only okay so here you can see that we got the device like pixel 4a and the device serial number and then this is the url basically like here we have evaluated the url so that is what we are getting and that's it one test path so it's just a simple login and logout test it's very simple okay so only thing we have to learn here like how to use this code okay this is the only one line of code that we have to remember it's very easy easy okay now let me show you the screenshot so we have taken like two screenshot one is the device using device and another one using the page so here you can see like device.png so this is the device so you can see what we have and and the page so that's going to be our browser so here you can see the browser only the cropped area the dom only it is able to take the screenshot okay so if you want to take the device screenshot you can take this and if you want to take the browser you can say like page dot screenshot okay so that's it for this video i hope you have liked it if so give me a like and thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Ta -da, bye bye take care